Ladies and gentlemen, after a while, welcome back to Freestyle TV. I know, guys, it's been way too long since we've been live, but finally we made a comeback and here we are. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch or somewhere else, make sure to drop your comments so we can, you know, see them. I'd uh, love to see you guys here. Uh, a lot has happened in freestyle in 2022, and this might be one of the last shows we're going to do this year, but it's been a crazy year. We're going to do just a very small review at the end of the show today, but today we have very very special guest i i dare to say the most special we've had in freestyle tv uh since we started this show the guy is professional football player who plays for finland of course my main man and also <clears throat> in inter miami very well-known club established by david beckham so i think without further ado ladies and gentlemen Let's bring on Mr. Robert Taylor. Hello, hello. Yo, Robert, welcome to the Freestyle hello, hello. TV. How's it going, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm, I'm very well. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I told you before, before we got, uh, got here that I have a small surprise for you. Uh, because as i told you i just had a freestyle show today i did it for this club in finland in helsinki and then it, the show started you know so there was the president of the club was speaking it not a, not the biggest club but apparently one of the oldest clubs in, in helsinki or finland the president did a speech then i do a freestyle show it went pretty nicely and then i go to the side to you know listen to the rest of the program then i hear this one guy who gets an award and apparently he does you know in in Mäkelärinne, the high school uh he does some classes with paul taylor and if i'm not mistaken paul taylor is your dad isn't he yes that's right that's right and guess what i just you know 30 minutes ago 30 minutes ago i saw your dad <laughs> can you oh believe it yeah. can you believe it man like what is the coincidence man that like you and me we talk face to face of course yeah. through computer after such a long time and then i happened to meet your father in in helsinki i thought he lives in Yulaskula. uh no he's doing a coaching job here in uh in helsinki now yeah 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 so he's for, moved down for that yeah cool yeah all right, Robert. Well, you know, jokes aside, very, very cool to have you on the show. And like I said, it's very interesting, your story as a football player with freestyle background. So how how did it all start? I, I guess you started football very early. Yeah, I mean, my my dad got me into football. He used to, be, he used to play, so uh, he really pushed me into playing football. And um, the freestyle part came when I was starting to practice to do just keepy uppies yeah. and like keeping the ball up. And that was the, and I got really interested in that. And when I was like six, six years old or something like that, six, seven. And then my dad would tell me, all right, I'll give you five euros if you do 30. And then I'll give you another five if you do 100. And, I just had to keep doing it. I wanted the five euros really badly. Yeah, so yeah. eventually you get better at it. And I got to that stage where I got that comfortable with the ball so I could try to do something different. Because I, I was starting to get a little bit bored, you know, yeah, just yeah. doing the same old keepy uppies. And um, so then I just started trying little tricks and stuff. And I noticed that I could, I, I really enjoy it, first of all. And then I could learn these tricks fairly quick where i wouldn't get too frustrated with myself yeah and then that got me into like uh when youtube was really new back then not many yeah. freestyle videos on youtube to learn or get inspired from so the first video ever i remember was um, that I, w I watched and i was like whoa this guy's insane uh was mr Wu. i don't know if you've 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I know him well, of course. He's, yeah, I mean, his video, he did a halftime show, I think it must have been in England. He did it yeah. to Michael Jackson Beat It song, and he was doing these tricks were insane. He was like jumping with the jump rope, you know, all this yeah. classic stuff. And yeah, just just the like his ball control was insane like you know nowadays i've seen videos and you guys do some insane shit like you do backflips <laughs> and one hand stands and the ball is in in your feet and it's unbelievable yeah. but back then what he did was like it was like the same as it is now like like for you all these handstand stuff for yeah. me to see him like going with shoulder to shoulder he wasn't moving anyway he was just doing it it made it look so easy yeah and that really got me into it and then i just started doing more and more tricks and tried to get better yeah okay um let's go to what do you think of freestyle right now a little later but um and let's let's keep it in the past still so i believe you you know because you were so much into football and your father pushed you to train uh juggling the ball um, and you found out Mr. Wu's video. When did you understand that freestyle is actually uh, its kind of own thing, separated from football? Mm, I think that must have come when when I started seeing videos like uh, Pale. Pale, I don't know, yeah. probably butchering his name, but this I, I I think he's Swedish, right? This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did the yeah. uh, three three around the world yeah, yeah 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 him and then i remember watching this guy called skora s-k-o-r-a him yeah 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 um then obviously sion sion tuzani all these guys came along and started making videos and doing unbelievable tricks i think that's when i started to think like now like if i go further with freestyle it's not yeah. necessarily going to help me in specific 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 ways on the football field whereas just yeah. ball control obviously helps you out you know you're comfortable yeah, yeah. with the ball but when yeah. you start doing three around the world without touching the ball it's not necessarily helpful for your football so yeah. that's when i started to think that these are two separate things yeah okay for sure yeah um interesting you know when you're dropping those names it tells about the era of freestyle because those are the like the legends the guys who were there in the beginning like there's not many people who were there before so and and you and me we met for the first time in in 2009 and i had been training one year when we met for the first time uh how long when when do you when do you think was the or what year do you think you kind of was practicing freestyle for for the first times uh, hard to say you know hard to say because like i said it's just beginning it just started with like just keeping up with these and like yeah yeah tricks every now and now and then but i would say probably before the competition we had where we met i must yeah. have done like comfortable four or five years of just constantly doing tricks and stuff right i would right. say I would, I would say so. Uh, that be my guess. It's so yeah. long, a long time ago. I can't really, yeah, give you a, give you a year when I started doing freestyle. It was just tricks and having fun with the ball, and eventually it just turned out to me just doing more advanced skills and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Well, I mean, you were there when when the whole thing started, and let's save the the present day for later. Um, but real quick about your you know football career back then because you were you were still very fairly young boy playing in in finland and how do you think you know the coaches and and the other people uh, took it that you're training you're really good with the ball and you're training tricks how do you think you know the other people thought about that? um there was i would say it was like 50 50 some coaches would look at it as a waste of time and it's nothing to do with football and all this you know very stereotypical old school sayings and then there was the other half where they would encourage me and they would say like they would say look 
he's this good on the ball because he can do he can do this trick or whatever like he can keep the ball up comfortably so then whenever there was a long ball in the game to come to me i would take it down really comfortably um but for sure there was like the negative and the positive um i'm happy that the closest coaches to me that i worked with when i was younger um they encouraged it they never told me that it was a waste of time uh for example my dad always just he he loved watching me doing tricks and he just it, it would make me want to do it more and make me want to practice like more skills to try and make him be more impressed in like wow that's that's pretty cool yeah. and then there was uh, my junior coach Petr Kuhmonen who was also he would really encourage me in doing it and he would be impressed by it then I went to England when I was younger and then then comes the old school guys when I was flicking the ball up and then holding it in my chest here yeah and you know you have your arm here yeah and they'd be like oh that's handball they won't say anything <laughs> about like the ball control being really good they would just look that's handball yeah yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. so stupid i think um, um i was just having fun with the ball you know yeah cool um so what do you think like you're you you made it now you're a professional footballer so you know there's some kids watching who who are playing football what do you think about them training a little bit of freestyle on the side of playing football i would say there's absolutely no harm in it there's you can only take positive from it if you if you're playing around with a ball and doing tricks and you know you you can do all this difficult stuff with the ball it actually you will see the advantage in the game where you can control a ball like i'm i'm really repeating myself in this like like i have done in previous interviews i always say that when you can do stuff with a ball that not everyone can it will make you stand out when there's an uncomfortable situation in the game where you got two guys on you and then the ball drops drops down and you can just take it down um and it will help you there's no harm in it for sure not that's that's what i would tell people all right um interesting that's 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 really really cool to hear from a professional football player and when we think back of your career i i remember that you very early already kind of drew the line between you know where you want to go you want to go with more with the freestyle or you want to go with more with the football how did you feel about you know kind of this decision or did was there even the decision in the first place um there were times for sure when there was i had talks with my dad about it where he would say like i mean he would encourage me to do stuff and he would say like this is at, like he would say to his friends or people who were watching me do tricks he would say oh if the football doesn't work out there's freestyle like he can go he can backtrack to freestyle and you know get another chance from there um but i kind of knew very early that like this is more of a hobby that i really want to go for football like that's what i want to go for but that that didn't make me like stop freestyle until i was a little bit older whereas in now i don't like go out my way and have three hour sessions on the back, back garden and try and do new tricks that's not like i've stopped learning new things like for like past 10 years that's that's for sure but um i think it changed when i went to like england when i was 16. i think then i was like now i'm only concentrating on football Right, <clears throat> right, right. Um, okay, cool. Thanks. Um, now, you know, we have a couple people watching this show, and it's time to give them a little demonstration of our skills back in 2009. <laughs> All right, blast from the past. So, let me just you know because I this video this <laughs> and it, you, you can't see this video actually because i used uh zz top song you know little did i know oh, that there was yeah. like 
copyrights and stuff Copyright. like this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why the um, uh, it was kind of banned from uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from YouTube. But here we can have this plane. It had nice soundtrack, you know. That there was and yeah. and also my editing skills have gone <laughs> get, have gone a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here it is. All right, let's oh, go. So, what about because you know back then in, in Finland especially, it felt like that um, everyone, every freestyler had like their artistic name, and mm -hmm. I remember your YouTube channel was Ropsu ninety four. Yeah. Like, how how did that came to be? I think it came to be when I was creating the name, and I must have my 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 aunt or someone must have gone because they my family when i was little they called me ropsu and they said hey ropsu come eat i was like oh ropsu. <laughs> i didn't really give much thought to it yeah man and and also uh you you well actually my kids are making horrible noise but i forgot my point but one thing that i want to uh raise is the beyond football you remember this uh, beyond football forum. Beyond football forum. Not uh, that rings a bell. I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, because I also it was like I think it was before my when I started and it died out soon after I started. But there was mm. some you know section in the freestyle freestyle place where people had listed world records, and you actually had. The world record of sit down to Zani around the world. Someone, you know, <laughs> someone went out their way to find the video because I remember it was kind of odd. It was filmed like in a laundry room, and you did mm -hmm. I don't know maybe six or seven sit down to yeah. Zani, sit down to Zani around the world <laughs> in a row. And and you, yeah. I think maybe someone has broken the record, but but not officially yeah, because it, unless it's not on video, you know, it's not official. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when you look at me there, like, oh, us, like, we're really small, like, physically. Yeah. So, you know, me claiming to have the most Dusani sitting down is probably the most unclean tricks you've ever seen. It's just, you kick it up, you try and get your small feet around the ball, and it yeah. probably doesn't doesn't pass nowadays at all. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I remember it very vividly, the clip, and I think it was pretty good. But yeah, I mean, like you said, we're really young in this video, and I think this was good times, man. Like, still in freestyle, a lot of people kind of think back those times when you had freestyle needs. And oh yeah, yeah. Actually, that leads me to 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 next quest question. We're kind of approaching. Uh, oh my goodness! <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, man. I, Can you do that anymore? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I did it last year, but, but you know, I think that would take me ages. But anyways, um, you played professionally now for I don't know five, six, seven years or something in Finland. Um, what's the, did you play like? Did you have a contract in England as well? Um, so I was a scholar, there was a, I signed a scholarship with yeah. a team in, in England called Lincoln City. Uh, yeah. I played there when I was 16 and 18. I played for the youth team. Yeah. Um, I didn't play not much, uh, like pro level or like senior level football. And that, when I didn't get a pro contract there, that made me go back to Finland, Uvascular. Yeah. And then I signed for my hometown team. And then it kind of my senior football started. From yeah. There. Okay, but you do have have you have played professionally a few seasons or a couple at least in Norway. And Norway, you must know at at the moment is unbeatable in freestyle. Like they have. <laughs> is it actually? Yeah. I mean, I've seen Instagram videos, but sure yeah for sure and um i have one friend actually who i met through playing for this team you'll know him sondra sondra yeah 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 you know sondra i'm really good friends with him and um 
we went to do some videos together i'm not sure if it's on his channel or his instagram just a couple of clips few, like a couple of years back we did yeah, a couple, yeah, yeah. Of, couple of things and um uh, yeah that's i know him and i've um i follow a couple of guys from norway freestyle kids and um i've heard nico told me that there's like these two brothers that are like <laughs> like running the show right now <laughs> yeah yeah you're on point man but before we go to those brothers and then freestyle today <clears throat> i was actually uh gonna ask you because i remember i saw uh on on sondra's instagram or youtube or wherever i saw that um you were training with him uh, freestyle and i was so happy man because because i knew you know you still got it and he's actually he's really good sondre also mm. um he he's did really insane, good yeah. in the in in the super bowl world championship last uh this year okay. um how did that um how did that kind of happen did he approach you to you know come train with me because you know not so many mm. people after all know that you you have freestyle background no i think i i might have seen a video on the team i played for on their instagram about him doing tricks for them yeah okay and some old video must have seen and then i went on his profile and saw that he plays for the uh, no he he lives in the city that i i will play for so then i started following him he followed me back eventually and i and i just um messaged him look like do you wanna do you wanna do some freestyle together and i don't think he knew that i can do do fairly well yeah um, and then i think we couldn't get do any skills before like a few months because corona hit so then I was, yeah yeah like, just i was spending time at home and then i i think i sent him a couple of videos in when i was in my kitchen doing tricks and i think then he like realized oh shit, this guy can do like actually more than just your basic basic professional football can do yeah so then we went to do some do some training and then eventually also it, we don't we we met up a few times for sure and uh, we only did freestyle once but then we just started doing like crossbar challenges and then finishing right. and then we just started messing around like that yeah you you, you went really from fun. you know the the real deal you went to the stuff that actually gets followers and views on social media <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay exactly. well all right Robert, it's so funny for me to say Robert because, like, I always know you as, as Robso. But anyway, <laughs> so you know, out, out of the blue, I remember this day, Robert Taylor, and I, for me it was crazy. Robert Taylor has signed with Inter Miami, and I saw it first on on Inter Miami's channel because, of course, I had to follow, you know, David Beckham's team. So, you know people can have a lot of opinions about mls but you know it's it's a big league man and and like this the things in america are like next level um just how how was that you know how did it feel to sign for inter miami oh it was it was pretty insane i mean um the first time i heard that there was interest yeah uh, my agent told me he, he he called me and he said we actually spoke a couple of hours before about some clubs and um, i was walking back home and then i said all right talk to you later and whatever and then he calls me two hours later and he goes oh rob um are you sitting down and i'm like what and he's like sit down and then he told me that into miami really wants me and and i was like then i was like mate forget everything else that's where i want to go <laughs> and and when it happened it was it was like wow it was a great feeling for sure all right well i mean there's there's like you've done really well there i mean you've scored some absolute bangers and uh, and i believe <laughs> a lot of people like you know they love that you're in the team um and I, man, like, I love football. I'm like diehard football fan, and I could talk about that for ages. But let's let's keep it in freestyle because it was really interesting to me to see, especially now lately, that you know, I believe I think it was 
you posted the free star tricks you know you were doing on on, on grass or somewhere mm -hmm. and and the market <laughs> market of freestyle in usa and in miami region especially it's huge so yeah how do they how do they because of course you're a professional football player for one of the or if not the biggest team in in the united states and you also got the flair i mean uh, to me that sounds like you know the inter miami people are like you know oh yeah this is our guy bro. <laughs> how is it i mean yeah uh, you get appreciated the fact the fans are really nice i mean the people yeah. around the club are great and you can tell that they appreciate like skills and obviously um you know it's a very south american community and you know yeah. who south americans usually idolize is their legends and yeah. you know in their legends they're all really skillful really, yeah, yeah, yeah like the best skills in the world so you know that if you do have skills you will get appreciated that's that's for sure and i i know that um the fans are really great that's for sure all right well time to get to this you know the present so not so long ago you were playing like with Seon, and then just a couple of days later you were training with laura biondo who is also an absolute freestyle legend and uh kind of freestyle comeback is on <laughs> um so how did those things i mean it was just after the season so Seon, of mm -hmm. course the first world champion and laura biondo the pioneer of freestyle in, in for a female side how did how did these two kind of things feel for you uh like for sure when i met sian like like i told you like i used to watch him when i was a kid and i remember him winning that if i'm not wrong it must have been the first red bull street style competition that he won 2012 yeah. oh, i can't 2008 no, eight yeah eight yeah, yeah eight Eight. and i watched him do all these tricks and it was insane he was like a showman and yeah. you know i copied some of his stuff you know when he yeah. spins the ball and he has hands like this yeah and, yeah yeah um you know the pen I, I think he did the pen thing where he put the pen in his mouth and the ball would spin on the pen <laughs> yeah you know i would i would do all that kind of stuff and it was really great to meet him um, yeah and then we played a little six v six and um i posted a photo on instagram playing with him and he sent me a message like thanks for coming um i didn't get to do any freestyle with him there was plenty of people around him and i didn't yeah, wanna, like, yeah. fuss around too much around him because i mean it was late and i'm sure he, he wanted to go home yeah. and stuff but and then we did the video with laura and she's insane she's yeah wow she's, she's like the hand what i posted on my story where she goes on her hands and flicks it onto her soul it's like yeah, like i yeah, said yeah. To you earlier this interview like that's insane yeah. anyway we did that video and um, um then she sends, sends me a message and says like oh why didn't you tell me that you can do like tricks like you need to do and you need to show me next time and stuff and yeah yeah something like that and uh that was great but yeah we did the video with laura that was that was really fun yeah it was really fun for sure yeah it's it's when when especially uh when you were doing with um freestyle with laura i mean i've met Sean a couple of times in in red bull street styles and uh but you know he's larger than life so it's really hard to get get some time with him but with laura i've talked a lot and we worked together in the wfa for many years so it was very funny to me to see you with her because now we all know each other but i'm not sure <laughs> yeah. if, if laura knows that we and we, we know each other as well maybe she's watching this. yeah <laughs> but all right robert we're getting to the final question here so you know freestyle football 2022 what do you think about this you know what's going on in the freestyle world right now and freestyle in general i think it's like it has been a growing trend ever since i started it's just been going up and up and more people want to do it more there's just i feel like there's just my instagram feed for example and the search is just like this kid is doing something insane with a ball this guy is doing it's just like there's new stuff coming along and i feel like you guys are just 
pushing the boundaries on what you can do with the ball. Like, if I saw a video back in the day, what you guys do now with the ball, I would be like, I'm going to give up. I'm not going to, I'm never going to be this good. So <laughs> what you guys are doing now is just insane. And I like, I can't wait to see what freestyle football looks like in five years time. What are the tricks that you're going to do and who's going to be the best at it? And, you know, what's the most hardest trick you can do? Like when my days, it was like the palette around the world when you go three times around. I can't still, I still can't do it. I will never be able to do it. But man, now, don't never you know, say never, man. <laughs> <laughs> even, you know, even the two around the world back then, it was like insane to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now you guys are doing, I don't even want to guess. You're doing a backflip, catching on your soul, coming back, front flip, catch it, three around the world in a row. It's like, it's insane. And then uh, eventually it's going to get better. You guys are just pushing each other to do harder stuff, I guess. Yeah. You know, you see someone doing something insane. You're like, oh, I need to beat this guy. I want to do this. And then yeah, 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 eventually yeah. it's just like this. And it's just keep, it will just keep on growing, 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 growing. And I can't wait to see what it looks like in five, ten years time. It will be insane. I bet. Yeah. And, and, and what do you think about like the competitions? Because I, I hear a lot of stuff that you just said they have ha happened in, in competition just not so lately. So do you, yeah. do you follow the freestyle scene at all? Um, I don't really go out my way, follow it because yeah. I see so much like on my on social media, I just see like this insane skills. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm probably going to have to start looking at these competitions more, but for me, I would say like the most impressive thing is when you do an insane trick or something that you practice on all alone and you do it in the competition yeah that's the same thing as ronaldo practicing his head um, bicycle kicks and training and then yeah. he does it in a final or you know someone practices free kicks free kicks free kicks in training and you know you miss and you get you hit some and then you do it in a game and it goes in and it's just that's like that's where you actually measure yourself is where you do it on the stage like for you i guess the competition is the same as for us again that's like how i would yeah. see it yeah you, you know and yeah. when you can perform in a competition where there's people around watching you and you have pressure that's how you measure yourself and when i see people landing these insane tricks in competitions it really like it really impresses me really impresses right. me all right well, Robert, I know you, you, you're now with the national team out there and uh, you have some stuff coming up, so I won't take any more of your time. But man, it's been absolute pleasure to, you know, talk about freestyle with you. And, and like, I'm really happy to follow your career. I'm, I'm sure you're also, you know, somewhere great in, in five years. And um, man, thank you for joining. And I will message you the final of Red Bull Street Style this year because the yes, like please. Nico said Nico said the two brothers from Norway <laughs> I just have this I just have this feeling that you haven't seen that kind of stuff yet and and those guys are like oh my god, oh my god. they're like even for yeah. me who's seen it all it's just yeah. like unreal but yeah. anyways thank you for joining thank you all the thank people thank you for having for, me Thank you and thank you for all the people watching the show. This was Freestyle TV and we'll be back later with youth competition and that's it. Cool. Bye-bye.